there's well plenty of enough of black Canadian men in here. The only difference between them and us is that we have manners. You know what I mean? That's the only difference. If you got an American guy going, he's yelling, bitch, get me a soda. We say, bitch, give me a soda, please. International people, thank you so much. Welcome back, your host, Luis Ua, to you and I talk show. It's been great hosting this, uh, this, not, I was going to say radio because I'm used to saying radio show. We're in video now, people. We're in video. We're going on television. We're on camera. We're going to have makeup. Welcome to the show, uh, another episode where I'm talking to a comedian, I'm talking to a few comedians, a couple of comedians, uh, because life through comedians is way more interesting, you get the truth, you get the real thing, so I'm very happy. Today, a fresh comedian, one that you may have seen in my teaser, Paolo Cesar Durena. You finally got my name right. I finally got your name right. How you doing, Louise? Oh, let's do this. Let's hug it out. How you doing, sweetie? Man, I'm doing great. I'm Excellent. happy. Excellent. I'm happy that you're here. I'm happy to I be here. I love orange. I wish my orange side was on, on, on the front. Well, you could just flip it around. Do, and do this, little this, little this, this, these pants, you know, I can take them off from the side. Ooh. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> So, Every time we, we hear together, you always gotta tell me some kind of, kind of like thing. Oh, you about saying you. I'm the one who starts it? Eh? I'm thinking you are an instigator, uh, just yeah. a little bit. I've been called a what's the, it's it was in French, so I don't know what they say it in say, English. Say it in French. I might Allumeuse. Know. A rumors. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. Allumeuse. Okay. Like someone who put things on fire. Oh, you're you're a fire starter. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You're a fire starter. <laughs> That's exactly what you are. That, that, that makes sense. Uh, so what are we talking about today? Paolo, thank yes. you for being on the show. Thank it you. was great to have you on the taste shoot. It was so funny. It was awesome. Now, have you taped any, <clears throat> any, you know, things that we can't show on this show between the time that we taped this and today? Have you taped any kind of that stuff? What stuff are we talking about? I don't know, you, you know, because sure. you said that you were going to tape anything and that you may want to, you know, for camera purposes, you may get into some porn stuff. Ah, yes. Good old porn. I love porn. Porn makes me happy. Um, no, I have not got a chance to. No? That. No, my girlfriend wasn't down. Oh. No, she wasn't down. So you have just one girlfriend? Well, yes, so far I'm saying this on camera, I only have one girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> Paolo, you're so funny. So, Paolo is a comedian, people, in case you haven't uh, noticed yet, or in case you missed the other show where he was. Paolo, you're a comedian. Were you born in Canada? I was born in, yes, in Canada. I was born in Calgary, Alberta. Mm -hmm. My parents came down, uh, well, my dad came down from working for CP, so we went to Calgary. Was born What's there. CP? CP Rail. Oh! He works for the trains. Mm. He was an uh, electrician there, like, so he did the electrical stuff and mm -hmm. the engine and stuff like that. So he's nice. a very, very smart man. So your parents are from Haiti? Yes, they are from born and raised. They're both born and raised from Haiti, yes. Wow. How, yeah. how long, um, how did they come to Canada? They came to Canada to get a better life. My dad graduated from his... Um, electrician mm -hmm. uh, he got a diploma there my mom was getting her nursing and they both moved down to uh, Canada to you know start a better life so did they meet in Haiti or did they meet in they Canada? they met in Haiti they met in Haiti got married in Montreal nice yeah so so you lived in Montreal we've I talked lived. about how we both lived in, yes, Montreal, lived in Montreal and how we love it I enjoy it how Vancouver is boring sometimes yes it is versus Montreal yeah, yeah. sometimes this yeah. is why I'm talking to comedians, you know. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. <laughs> the I know, show, I know what you mean. I know the what show you mean. would be boring. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, the show would be boring. But like, uh, the thing is, is about 
the difference between Vancouver and Montreal is like you know Montreal has like that that good vibe that good city vibe you know what I mean like everybody's just kind of like is I like I like to call it like the French New York mm-hmm. you know what I mean because if somebody has a problem with you they won't be shy to say it no you know they'll straight up tell you yeah while well, you're here in Vancouver everybody says hello to you mm. which I find a little bit weird I know man what's this niceness it'd be, it'd be too nice whether it's nice and they're nice they're just I don't want to be nice sometimes. It's like it's like I get forced to be nice. Uh huh. And I don't like that. That. that and they drive nice too. They, I'm used to yeah, driving like exactly. crazy. <laughs> off. Screw you. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to wave my hand. But it's like yeah, sure, pass. No, I'm cutting through. You took too long, sucker. You know, like people here letting me pass, and I'm like, why are you letting me pass? What is this yeah, civilized I, city? It's very civilized out here. Yeah. Um, but it's a good thing it's sunny outside. It's like we're mm. in the summer. I don't know when this uh, tape's going to be shown, but we're in the summer right now, and it's beautiful. Yes, it's beautiful, people. It's you know, beautiful. this is this is light. I have nothing under there. I, I wasn't saying I that for... <laughs> I wasn't starting any fires. You started the fire. <laughs> I'm just saying it's hot. Just blow it on it and everything like that. You just can't help yourself, can you? Oh, Paolo, what can I do, man? It's the hat, you it know. Is. The, the yellow hat makes me happy, and it's warming up things, you know. I was sunny, you know. I feel colorful today. Nice. Yeah, really nice and colorful. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoying the day. Yes. So we're about to go for, to a short break, but when we come back, we'll tell people how was the move for you to come to Vancouver and the reason why you moved to Vancouver. I've heard rumors, mm -hmm. so we will confirm. All right. I'll or you will it, deny. I'll put it all on the table <laughs> today. So there's no like, oh, Paul did this and he did that. No, no, no. Yeah. It's going to be all today. Yes. That's why we love comedians, people. He's saying everything today. Paolo, Cesar, Durena coming back in a second. Welcome back, my international people. Your host, Luis Wachu, you and I talk show. We are talking to Paolo Cesar Durena today. Comedian, funny, funny, funny guy. Now, why did you move to Vancouver? Why couldn't you be a comedian? Montreal, you know, the Montreal Just for Laugh Festival. You know, when I was in Montreal, I could never afford it. I'm really hoping that you become a comedian. I get backstage passes. I'm gonna get you for free. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna charge your ass. That's it. I'm gonna charge you ain't coming in for free. I'm gonna charge. <laughs> my mama's coming in for free. I'm gonna charge a double. Um, in Montreal, I loved it so much. So, but, but, so how can you leave the the Montreal and then come to Vancouver and then you wanna go back to the Montreal just for laughs? Uh, yeah. Well, it's it's pretty simple. Uh, when I moved out. I was 16 years old. Mm. I was with the wrong crowds, hanging with the wrong people, and I didn't think that I was gonna go past the age of 16. So there was like a, a decision, like a quick, like you know, like the decision that you do as a as a little man, like should I stay or should I go? You know what I mean? I didn't think that I was gonna have a, a big enough future. It's not like cause like like most of my friends, I had like really good friends out there that you know were 100% to me. And everything like that, but like I didn't feel like I was gonna do anything fantastic if I stayed. Mm. You know, just give my mom a heartache and that's it, mm. which I didn't want. So I made that decision to move down to Vancouver. And at first, I thought it was the worst decision I ever made, cause my parents lived like somewhere in the boonies, in the farmland where like a rooster would wake you up. Well, I'm used to hearing like crackheads <laughs> and. And, you know, people yelling in the middle of the street. So yeah. it was like, it was a big, huge change for me. You know yeah. what I mean? But, you know, it helped. Yeah. It helped. It helped a lot. Mm -hmm. So then you're in Vancouver. Then how many years does it take you? And how do you eventually decide, you know, you're going to become a comedian? This is a tough city, man. This is a very expensive city. You know, you got to be broke. You got to work. Like, where do you start from? You're working, but you also have this dream. How did that come? Well, uh, the dream came about with my people who were close to me. Mm -hmm. 
Right, you know what I mean? Like, people felt like, yeah, with anything, like, to parties or an event, graduation, or just sitting around with, with a couple of my friends, I just keep on bringing out that good mood, that good feeling, you know what I mean? Always the loudest, always took a situation and made it and twisted to something else that you would never think about, but mm. it's like completely hilarious. And um, I had one, excuse me, uh, one of my friends uh, that I met, uh, her name is Ashley Dewan, and I met her at a party, and I was just being me, mm -hmm. joking around, making everybody laugh, and stuff like that. And then she's like, "You know what? You should do some comedy. I know a person where you can learn, learn how to how to do it." And I'm like, "I don't know, maybe, because you know I had the fear of a little bit of the fear of being in front of a crowd. Mm -hmm. But like, what I like to think is like being around your friends and being in front of a crowd." It's not really totally different. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just how you just kind of got to come up and do your thing. So I I met uh, my teacher. Her name is Janice Bannister. Uh, probably a couple of comics who's going to A go couple of comics who are going are through gonna this series are going to pop in that yeah, name. Punch, punch in that name. Yeah. Um, I may want to have to interview her too. You're going to probably want to watch Is she funny? She is hilarious. Ah. She is so funny and wise and quick. Uh -huh. You know, she doesn't feel like that was not funny. She's not going to try to sugarcoat it. Go, uh -huh. Oh, yes. You know, <laughs> she's not a yes man. She'll just, you know, uh -huh. she'll be right on you. And uh, uh -huh. she helped a lot. And I did my first class with her. And I had a chance to go on stage. And it was like, ever since then, I was like hooked. Nice. Just hooked. And I just keep on wanting to do it. And just keep on, you know, making people laugh. That's pretty much what I want to do. Just yeah. Make people laugh. Make people laugh. Yeah. It's a great job, you know. It is. It doesn't pay right now. <laughs> like it doesn't pay anything, but like for for real, like it's it's good. Uh huh. It's good. You know what? Um, I interviewed another comedian the other day, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you're gonna confirm this or not. And he said that uh, successful comedians are not good lovers, but upcoming ones may still be good lovers. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know. I don't know Oh. Um, and I'm not even trying to toot my own horn. Mm. It's just that, no, that I, don't, I don't agree. No. No comments. Okay. Next question. <laughs> I don't know what to say. We'll be back. Welcome back, my international people. I mean, you know what? I'm actually starting to enjoy this commercial break thing. Eh? It gives you time to like... Ah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, Paolo. Yes. So, okay. We're n let's not go back to the uh, lovers thing because maybe that was one uh, comedian. You hurt my feelings with that. <laughs> hurt my feelings with that so what kind of comedian are you i am a comedian that kind of like just goes straight to the point mm -hmm. you know what i mean i don't like try to sugarcoat it there's a lot of great comedians out here in vancouver you know what i mean uh but the style is like not my style mm. you know what i mean I, I that's due to the influence of comedians i check out you know what i mean like the martin lawrence the dave chappelle's the kevin hart even going back with the Richard Pryors, you know what I mean, or, or, or George Carlin. Those guys were like right to the point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They didn't really sugarcoat anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm silly. Like, like silly things make me laugh. Yeah. And I know silly things will make anybody else laugh. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's how I, I like to do things and, and stuff so like that. So when you think about comedy and you think about someone who's truly great, who do you think is truly great? In? I think it's truly great. It depends on what way you're going at. Like a truly, uh, because there's so different, so different kinds of genres of comic. You know, there's a really like a observant comic. Mm -hmm. There's like a sketch comic. There's a storyteller comic. You know what I mean? Like, like the, I think the greatest of all time as a storyteller comic is Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. Actually, sorry, Mr. Bill Cosby. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's the greatest storytelling comic because he just like the way he takes you to certain places. Mm -hmm. is like. Is that you going on a journey? Mm. You know what I mean? Like I think a, a really 
cool like oh my goodness comic would be Richard Pryor you know what I mean because he doesn't have to sugarcoat anything he's telling you this is what happens you know yeah. what I mean he makes a joke about how he, he was like all messed up on drugs and he would start shooting his car and the cops came and they're like what are you doing he's like I'm shooting my car what do you look <laughs> like you know what I mean like and like those kind of comics you know what I mean and uh, you know or George Carlin like he was very he was a very political guy yeah but it was really like he was still like silly yeah you know what I mean I'm by no, any means I'm not a political person mm-hmm. I really don't follow politics very much mm-hmm. much that I should mm-hmm. but it's just the fact that you know what I mean like I'm really not into him you know what I mean like why do I listen to guys gonna lie to me all day you know what I mean mm. I just I could do that doing it myself yeah you know what I this mean? is this is why I said I, w- I, I would like to talk to uh, comedians instead of talking to politicians yeah you'll find out what's going on yeah you know <laughs> what I mean they'd say one thing one th- and then there's another thing like there's a big huge scandal going on in Toronto about uh, you know their their uh, mayor just getting all messed up in drugs and stuff like that I hear something about that I'm like what the heck is going on like, mm. everybody's dirty you know why what then I mean? doesn't he just become a comedian then he can you know Man, he can do whatever he wants <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're a comedian, you can do whatever you want. There's so many comedians who, who's who's been up and down in the path of, like, yeah. good and bad. But, mm-hmm. you know, they still come around and you can talk about it. Yeah. Don't feel bad about it. Yeah. You can talk about it. What about people who are right now on, like, uh, Kevin Hart right now? I really, I love this Kevin Hart uh, guy. I think he's great mm-hmm. at, in, in a sense. Like, that's kind of like my style, too. Like, you know, he keeps everything kind of close. Mm-hmm. You know, with his family with his friends yeah. and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, and you could see, like, his journey, you know, from when he started, because I checked him out when he was really, really young and when he really, really started. And you can see from where he's going now of, like, like yeah, now I'm, now I'm pretty much of a big deal. Mm-hmm. And you even say that, you know, like, I'm pretty much a big deal now, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's really pretty awesome about him that you kind of, he's taking to his, his journey of what's going on, mm. right? He's not so how, how far do you want to take this? Oh, I have to take, I want to take this all the way mm. as far as I can. Yes. You know what I mean? Like even surpass the big names, you mm. know what I mean? Like this is, this is seriously something I'm really into. Yeah. You know, and do everything, any, like take any avenue mm-hmm. in the way and get in there. Now, when we come back, we may do a little tiny little bit in French. Because okay. if you want to go back to Montreal, you know how they like French. Yeah, I work on my French. If you tell them you speak French, they may sneak you into the Montreal Just for Laughs Festival a little bit faster. Hey, whatever works. I'm good with that. Oh, there's like a hole in my... Quebec! Finish. We'll be back! <laughs> Welcome back, my international people. We are almost out of time, but Paolo still has a few things to tell us. Like, what are you? where are you performing in Vancouver? Where can people find you? I know you have a, a project with another comedian that I will interview uh, soon. Yes, I do. Uh, it's a project that we are working on. Actually, it's not really a project. We just got a a uh, place where we can perform. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's at the uh, Heritage Grill in Columbia. It's called a uh, comedy with a twist. And it's with a twist because we're not only just doing comedy, we're also trying to get some improv in there and stuff like that. Just different styles of comedy, mm-hmm. basically, in there. And uh, I'm really, really excited about that project. I think it's going to be really a lot of fun, to, you know, to just just to bring some more acts. There's a lot of, there's a lot of comedians that can't get to certain comedy spots. So I feel like having this spot there would bring him, bring him the opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know so I mean? do you feel like eventually Vancouver is going to be the type of town which is recognized for this? Because, you know, I really like the comedy scene in, in Vancouver. That's one of the scenes that I have really been able to explore and mm-hmm. find very interesting comedians, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So do you think eventually Vancouver will come up to that... Uh, level or are you guys the ones making it happen because this is what I you're think, doing is ha- i think i think vancouver yeah. has the potential to do that you know what i mean and if it so happens to be that i i uh get a chance to help out on it then that's awesome you mm-hmm. know what i mean like just like building a house like you need you need all hands on right so i think it would be an awesome uh 
like Vancouver's comedy scene is going, it's growing up, mm-hmm. and it's gonna get bigger. Yeah. And you know what I mean. We are just have the opportunity right now because we got the rooms. You know what I mean. We got the places to go and stuff like that. So yeah. So any last words in uh, French to the French people in uh, Quebec? Oh, okay. Uh, to the, to the people in Quebec, it's been a while. I was using my French. Mm-hmm. Mais euh, pour tout le monde, pour tout le monde. À Montréal, allô, comment ça va? Je m'appelle Paolo César Duriana. Je suis un comédien euh, ici en Vancouver. Si tu veux me, me check me out, si I messed up my French already. Uh, si tu veux me regarder, uh, tu veux me regarder en YouTube entre Paolo César Duriana ou Paolo Duriana. Uh, aussi, uh, that's all I got right now. <laughs> Still work on it, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to leave my French behind, you know, because, you know, that's another thing. Yeah. I want to do is... You think comedy is funnier in English or in I French think, or I think like comedy which? comedy is funny in any different language. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what language you speak. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's what, like, what you have engaging with, with, with somebody else in the crowd mm. and stuff like that. Or it, maybe it's a cultural it. thing. It's not even a cultural mm. thing. It's what you relate to. Everybody laughs, right? Yeah. Everybody around the world, they laugh no matter what. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Uh-huh. Just like like crying or yeah. being sad. Yeah. Everybody laughs. So there's comedy all around. As a person who speaks French, do you sometimes laugh at uh, Americans when, when, when they say things like, you know, things like uh, déjà vu? You know, they say wrong, oh, you yeah. know, and then as a French person, you're like, they, what are they talking about? Yeah, yeah, oh, you yeah. Know? oh, yeah, all the time. And then they're like, I thought you spoke French. All the time, <laughs> all the time. They're, yeah, Americans are silly, man. Like, I actually have a joke that I'm working on, like, how men, like, how, like, Canadian girls, certain Canadian girls mm-hmm. will go and get men from the States, mm-hmm. like, black men from the States. And I'm just saying, like, there's, well, plenty of enough of black Canadian men in here. The only difference between them and us is that we have manners. You know what I mean? That's the only difference. If you got an American guy going, he's yelling, bitch, get me a soda. We say, bitch, give me a soda, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's the only difference. You don't have to go so far. Just, you know what I mean? If you want rudeness, we can switch it up and be rude to you if you want. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's something, that's something I'm working on right now. Okay. Yeah. Come to Canada, learn how to come, say please. Please. Yeah, come to Canada, say please. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Before we let you go, thank yes. you so much for being here. Where can people find you? Contacts. Oh, wow. Uh, you can contact me on uh, P. Durena on Twitter. Contact me Contact me at uh, on my Facebook, uh, Paul Durena. Check it out. I'm actually going to have a new uh, site coming out for uh, just strictly for my comedy and everything like that. I got shows on the, uh, on the 8th of August and Coquitlam 225. Trying to see. I got a show on the 11th at Laugh Lines on, on uh, Columbia. Another show in Langley. Check me out in Langley. Um, I'm pretty much all over the map. I'm going to keep on posting shows, events, or whatever that I'm doing mm-hmm. so you guys can come and check me out. Um, it's a lot of fun. Come support our local co- like comedy people in Vancouver. Yes. Vancouver people, man. We are growing, we are getting bigger, we're getting loud. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot, a lot of fun. Yes. All right, Paolo, thank you so much. All right, thank you. If this has been fun and interesting. I'm really liking this, talking to comedians. I, ha- I think I have a couple of more comedians to talk to. All right. Been great. Any last uh, shout-outs? Anything? Uh, uh, give a shout-out to you, man. I've known you for so many years, and you're doing your thing, and I'm so happy for you. Uh, give a shout out to your family and all that, you know, um, I think, I think Jake's been through here, Jake the Jeweler, give a shout out to Jake the Jeweler, my homie, uh, and like pretty much my family and everything like that and all the comics and hopefully I, I'll be back here again one time again. I'm very happy to go from radio to camera, video, television. Yeah. I get to now talk to local people in Vancouver. Yeah. I don't know how my international audience is liking it, but at least I'm finally talking to people in person yeah yeah i like that i like that i, I like you that. didn't talk to people in person in no person? you know they call in from oh, from okay. wherever oh, okay. we got people calling in from africa europe oh, okay. the states okay. but yeah. here they're gonna have to fly i'm gonna fly people out soon as soon as i get the budget yeah yeah you'll people get the budget. soon enough i'm gonna make money and then i'll bring everyone that uh that, that's interesting to yeah. vancouver because i got an idea you can fly me out 
and then have to fly me back in again. You know what? Down. I think we should go to Montreal. I'll follow you when I'm you down. get the Montreal deal. I'm down. I'm then we can show people. Go to my mama's house. Thank you, my international people, for being with us. So that's it. Paolo Cesar Durena. Go check him out on his internet, YouTube, Twitter, and everything. And if you're in Vancouver, he's performing, doing great things. Vancouver.